I do now? I don't understand. <clears throat> okay, that's clever. So we're getting somewhere. Oh, hello. Ah, Mr. Strickland. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Okay. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do we follow her out, maybe? And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all we have to do is to get it from her somehow. Okay, yeah, so we go follow her. Let's go follow her. Donna, Donna, Donna. Oh god, which way did she go? Oh jeez. Which way did she go? Okay, not that way. Where'd she go? What did you... She just like disappeared. What is this? All right. Well, we still need to return this thing. Oh wait, wait, wait. Did I see Edna's bicycle? Does, is that what that said? What? Over there. Okay. So let's go over here. Aha! Here we are. Yeah, let's talk to Edna. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Alright, what is the scoop? What about the other story? I'm sorry about Einstein. What's Einstein? I don't know. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Okay, so... You make soup deliveries... You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup, now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Okay. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? Uh, the orphanage... Oh, no. Uh, let me try that one. The farm for unwanted children. No, they've already received their quota for the month. Did you finish the story? No. Yes, but I was glorifying a suspect run this town. This whole thing makes ordinance against it, and... Okay, um... You asked me to tell you... Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Um... Yeah, we'll try this one. The orphanage! No, they both... Hmm. You asked? This. Let's try the rest of them. The rest? No, it's wet. Dang it. Uh, okay, let's What's try this one. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, turning them into former hope and... Well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason, the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Hmm. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? Hmm, in the park, police station, the bomb speakeasy, at the Brown Residence. The Brown yeah. Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, 
and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Okay. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good! Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. <laughs> okay. You asked me to tell you somebody... The insane asylum. No, too much soup makes them nervous. You asked me. Okay. Never mind, I'm wrong. The pool hall isn't a charity. Certainly not. Okay. I got a book. Alright, so now we go oh, talk to Emmett. Where? Nowhere. None of your business. Let's go talk to Mr. Emmett Brown. Alright, about the subpoena. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. <laughs> uh, why don't you quit? If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. <laughs> yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Okay. Bucket Tannen, why is your rocket fuel made of alcohol? Why a rocket drill anyways? How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannen, all right. Hmm. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. Hmm. But couldn't you tweak your engine design a little so it runs on something else? Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe? Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. Mm. Nope. Um... Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Okay. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Hmm. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. Hmm. What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. Alright. We'll get so, that subpoena delivered. My name isn't Michael Corleone. Yeah, that. Yeah. Alright, so we need to go to hints. Let's try a hint, because I have no idea. Did you who could point you toward him? Uh Kid McFly or Kid Tannen, try target yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. Matches, what? Yeah, here we go, wait. Okay, whatever, we'll just walk over to him, fuck it. Who cares? Who okay. cares? Gonna walk all the way over to Kid Tana. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. So Get reverse. out of here. So reverse. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. 
Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Hmm. Guess I'm here to shine your shoes. My mistake. I'll be moving on. Um. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Hmm. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Hmm. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Well, where's hmm. the office? I forget. Hmm. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Mm -hmm. So, one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut ball. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock <laughs> yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Yeah, perfect. What'd you do? Perfect idea. Oh. <laughs> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Damn it! Uh-huh. Uh, this is awesome. Damn it. Perfect timing. Timing too perfect. And there you go. I assume they went to the law office. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Oh my gosh, my dog is freaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys, I'm so sorry. Ow! Fix me up! Alright, so they're in here, obviously. You learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. <clears throat> Get out. All right, sweet. So now we got the hat. So that's good. Um, inventory. Arthur's hat. We're gonna examine. Grandpa it. may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. I didn't really help anything. Uh. Okay, I still don't know what to do. Hence, earlier in the game, Marty used an object to find his owner. How? Find its owner. How? Oh, okay. Hooked her. I haven't played the game in a while, so I don't remember a lot of things. And that was one of the things I didn't remember. So we're gonna sniff the hat. Or, wait, we're gonna let Ainey sniff the hat. We ain't sniffing the hat. Ain't no way. So, Einie, Einstein, buddy, will you sniff the hat, boy? Okay, hat. Okay, Einstein. Hey, Einie, come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Okay, I don't have to control him, at least. That's the plus. And there's Doc. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm gonna have to uh, take a break here. Huh. Deja vu. Hmm. Alright.
Um, so anyways guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I am sorry, but I'm going to have to end the episode here, or whatever episode I'm on, but uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!